I'm going to talk about some of the Hermes bags like Hermes Della Cavaralia, Kelly Moon, Kelly Lang, and Kelly Messenger, etc. I'm going to share all the details about these bags, including price details. Leave me a comment to let me know what do you think of these bags. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any future uploads like this. Let's get let's take a look at the Hermes Della Cavalleria bag first. It was first out in 2020s for winter collection. From the shape and the design of the bag, the bag is actually inspired by the iconic shape of a horse saddle. The clasp is inspired by the iconic Vadon half bit. The metal is curved to accentuate the curve of the bag. It is rounded to fit the leather curves perfectly. So the bottom of the metal piece is actually attached to the bag. How you open the bag is just you open up the top of the metal piece and lift up the flap and then you can open the bag. It has a really spacious compartment in the central pocket inside. The bag also has a back pocket too, which is nice for you to easily grab and store stuff. The mini size is also available in so many different colors and these colors are all super cute in my opinion. The shoulder strap is adjustable too so that you can wear it as a shoulder strap or crossbody whichever way you prefer. The bag comes in different shapes and style. The mini Della Cavalleria bag is almost like a square mini bag. The mini in Epsom leather is currently retail for $6,550. Besides the Epsom leather, it's also available in the Tetlock leather too. Tetlock is also selling for a bit more than the Epsom leather. If you don't want your bag show too much wear, I'd recommend getting the Epson other than the Tetlock because I think Epson is a much better with wear compared to the Tetlock leather. Besides the mini one, there's also a small size and also another Elaine version available and the Elaine version is wider or longer. The Elaine is currently retail for 58,700 Hong Kong dollar, which is about 7,500 US dollar. I think if you like the minimum list the look and the, the fact that it doesn't have an obvious Hermes logo. Simple style, great quality, and adjustable shoulder strap that you can wear the bag in different ways as shoulder bag and crossbody. This is definitely a great bag that you could consider. The other nice thing about this bag is that even if it's not available immediately, if you are willing to wait for it, it's not a difficult bag to get at all. So between the mini and the Elaine, version. I think I personally prefer the mini version because it feels super cute with that square looking shape. Also, I mean the price is not so bad for a Hermes bag but just at the same time, I'm feeling to me personally, it's not a bag that I must must have. Style wise, it also reminded me a lot of Hermes Constance. Personally, you guys know how much I love a Constance bag and I do love the H buckle and I also really love the Constance style although it's more expensive than this bag. Would you consider getting this bag? Leave me a comment to let me know. The next bag is the Hermes Kelly Elaine. You may see the return of the Hermes Kelly Elaine in the spring summer 23 runway. It is a bag in the Kelly family and from the name you probably can tell it is a longer shape bag. Kind of like the Constance Elaine or the Della Cavalleria Elaine. The Kelly Elaine has a shorter strap and it can be carried as a shoulder bag or a clutch. The shoulder strap is detachable too. It's available in the shaft leather, absent, or exotic leather. The Kelly Elaine is currently retail for $9,050. I personally feel the Kelly Elaine is similar to one of the bag that I have which is the Hermes Kelly de Pichis with the extra shoulder strap that I purchased them myself and the difference is that you know the Kelly de Pichis are softer it feels more like in a return style, but the Kelly Elaine feels more like a Salier style with its structured look. Both of them look like really nice shoulder bag style. It is actually not 
are that easy to get back from the boutique and also the price point of the Kali Ling is also really high but in my opinion it is just such a beautiful and a chic bag that I would love to have. I might still get it in the future just depends on how things are going for me. If I will be able to get a Kali Ling, would you like a comparison video between the Kali Ling and the Kali de Pichis? Leave me a comment to let me know and would you be considering getting the Kali Ling bag? The next bag is the Hermes Kali Messenger bag. It is basically a Kali bag in the messenger bag style. It is our actual bag from men's collection. That's why you may be able to tell the straps are wider and thicker and that the overall look of the bag is more masculine. The bag comes in two size. One is the PM size and the other one is the GM size and I think the GM size is too big for most most of us. Size wise, the PM size is something practical and is something for us to consider. Overall, you can see this bag is more relaxed and very slouchy. The bag is available in evergreen leather, Togo, Barinia, Fubu leather. I was able to find the exact bag in Hong Kong dollar and the RMB. So based on the currency conversion, the Barinia Fubu version is over 14,000 USD and the evergreen version is over over 13,000 USD and the Togo leather one is over 12,000 USD. The nice thing about this bag is it's good capacity and I see people fitting like big phone stuff and also I think the bag is very casual. Personally, I feel this bag is a bit too masculine for me. In addition, I think that the price point of this bag is also really on a high side. I'm also not too crazy about this slouchy look. Say if I have 12, 13, 14 thousand dollars to spend right now among all the bags that I talked about with you guys I think I would still prefer to get a Kelly Ling instead of messenger style because it just feels more feminine and prettier. What do you think of this messenger bag? Will you consider getting it? The next one is the Hermes Kali Move Bag with the belt strap. It not only has a main bag but also has an extra small detachable Kali pouch attached to the bag as well. You can wear the small Kali with the belt alone as a belt bag or you can wear them together or you can even take the small Kali pouch out. Just wear the main bag with the strap. The bag is only available in one size. In the small Kali pouch you can put some AirPods or something small and I saw people did test that the, the main bag can fit iPhone 13 Pro Max. That's a pretty decent size although the main bag doesn't look that big. The shoulder strap is adjustable. You can wear it as a shoulder strap crossbody at whichever length you prefer. It's available in only swift leather for now. The bag is currently retail for $9,600. I think compared to the Kali Messenger bag, the Kali Move looks much more cuter with the rounded shape and an extra small bag. That small Kelly also does make us feel we spend money to get two bags instead of one. If you like the shape, style, and the fact that it comes with a small Kelly bag, if you could get the bag, then it is something you can absolutely consider. Comparing the Kelly Move and the, the Kelly Eling, I think I still like the Kelly Eling more considering they're in a similar price range. Leave me a comment to let me know your favorite Hermes bag among all the bags that we talked about today. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future uploads like this and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!